Hey guys, I'm here today with my May and June Beauty Empties. A big bag of trash, nothing new. Let's get started. I think it is a pretty large bag. So, first off, I have um, one of my deodorants. I use the La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant. This is a seasonal scent. It was in a gift set at Christmas time. The Vanilla Snowberry. It's okay. I like the Vanilla Coconut the best. This I've already repurchased. It's the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Absolutely love it to remove my makeup. It's just a white cleansing balm. It's fragrance free. It's great for sensitive skin. It doesn't irritate my rosacea. It doesn't make me break out. I get a little bit on my hands, rub it together to kind of melt it, and then massage it in my face, and it just breaks down everything. I do use a separate waterproof. Um, not waterproof. I do use a separate eye makeup remover because I don't really like to use cleansing balms on my eyes, but you can and it works great. And it's also great at removing liquid lipsticks. Love it. Like I said, I already repurchased it. Okay, this is just a small thing, but I figured since we talk beauty all the time, I would mention it. I, I can't remember if I have before or not. It's the Clear Care Hydrogen Peroxide Contact Solution. And it comes with one of these kind of gadgets. If you wear contacts and you don't use this, give it a try. It gets your contacts so clean. It extends the wear. It makes them feel like fresh contacts every time you put them in. Okay. Here is a perfume. This is by Commodity. And it's the scent Gold. It's just the little travel size. It kind of reminds me of Dior Hypnotic Poison. And Dior Hypnotic Poison has like some kind of root beer hint to me. Um, it doesn't really smell like root beer, but it's that kind of scent. I, it's less root beer than Dior Hypnotic Poison. It's a great scent. And I definitely could see myself repurchasing it one day down the line. I enjoyed it a lot. Okay, I'll save my wax stuff for the end. decent amount of like good stuff this time okay this is the Kat Von D tattoo liner and trooper and it's the felt tip pen or the marker it's the marker yeah that's what it is and I like it but I don't see why everybody like acts like it's the best thing ever when I'm wearing it I find that towards the end of the day like it kind of wears off patchy. I don't know if that makes sense. I can't do a wing liner with this. I'm not great at wing liner. And the only thing I can use is the Stila Stale Day. Because I can just like set it and drag it across. I have another one of these. But I don't think I'll purchase the full size in that. And it's dried out completely. This is, sorry, the Benefit Their Real Tinted Primer. I always like to wear a waterproof coat as my first coat because it holds the curl. So I kind of use that in its place. And I didn't like it as much, so I won't purchase that. Okay. This is the Rimmel Easton Snob Lip Liner. I've been trying to finish this thing for so long that by the time it was done, I was sick of it. But it's a really good kind of... I mean, that's... What this is, is basically the color. Kind of like a neutral, warm tone, everyday pink. You could wear it with a lot of stuff. I could wear it with the lip I'm wearing now, but I'm, I'm over it. Okay, two pocket bags, Twisted Peppermint and Jolly Gingerbread Cookie. Love sanitizer. Go through that like crazy. Speaking of clean hands... These are the soaps. I think the only soaps I have in here right now. Black Cherry Merlot by Bath & Body Works. This is such a great scent. But it is crazy strong. People could wash their hands in my house. And I would be around them later. And I would pick up on this. So if you're sensitive to strong fragrances. Do not use this. But it smells so good. And then this is just a soft soap. Holiday vanilla cookie. Nothing fancy, but I like hot soft soap, especially when I'm trying to be a little frugal because it's like a dollar, you know. Okay, this was my husband's. Well, it was actually mine, and then he finished it off. The Origins Vita Zing SPF 15. I used to really like this, but then I just kind of 
I don't know, you just kind of go into something new. It has like a tiny color, but it doesn't give you any coverage. Um, I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's not the best moisturizer ever. Okay, this is Bath & Body Works Sleep Nighttime Tea Luxury Bath Cedarwood and Orange Essential Oils. And it was like that milky. This gives the best bubbles. It probably produces more bubbles than anything I've ever used, hands down. And it's a really nice scent. I like it. I think the Bath & Body Works aromatherapy products are kind of expensive. Yeah, this is $16.50. I guess compared to their other stuff. But if you watch, and especially during their semi-annual sale, a lot of times they have them on sale for like $5. So that's when I purchase them. Okay. I have quite a few body washes. I've been slacking in the body wash department for a bit because I was like rotating between so many different ones. This is the Caress Passionate Spell Passion Fruit and Fiery Orange Rose. Okay, everybody talks about Caress being so great. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever used a Caress body wash and I decided to pick this up. It smells. This makes it sound like it's a lot more fruity. It's more like one of those sensual, musky kind of scents. If you like fragrances similar to me, then you would really like this. And I will definitely pick it up again. It's going to be a while. This is so old. Bath & Body Works Vanilla Bean Noel. If you recognize this packaging, keep it to yourself. <laughs> it smells so good. I love this scent. Um, this is Cutica from Zoya, the pomegranate lime the shower gel. I think I got it as a freebie. Um, when you do Zoya per polishes, a lot of times, you, certain dollar amounts, they give you freebies. Sorry, I'm getting text messages and I just keep looking down. I didn't love it. I didn't pay for it, but I wouldn't buy it. This was another freebie from them, actually. Cutica, the Grapefruit Surprise Sugar Scrub. I feel kind of the same way about this as I do the shower gel. Oh, uh, one more shower gel. And I think that is it for that. Okay, Pretty as a Peach by Bath & Muddy Works. It was okay. I don't have the full size. Speaking of peach and Bath & Muddy Works, another classic peach nectar it is the best bath and body work scent they probably ever had i mean i really love vanilla vanilla bean noel this was the first scent i ever had from them i remember i purchased the first one when i was in like sixth grade and i hoarded the remnants of the body splash for so long because i loved it and then one semi-annual sale they brought it back or it was like, you know, sometimes they used to bring out like old stock. It smells so good. I think I have a shower gel left of it. I love this. If you're an oldie Bath & Body Works junkie, then you know how old this is. But it smells, still smells perfect. And I just wouldn't let myself use it. Okay. Okay, this is Zen Med. This company sent me these products to use. And it was, I guess, a rosa rosacea line, which I had actually seen some on YouTube about it when I was researching rosacea things, but everybody that I would see use it had been sent it, so I didn't really, you know, trust the brand. But they contacted me sometime around Thanksgiving and offered to send me basically anything I wanted from them. And I used it for a while until my I had my daughter in January. And my skin looked so good. It was making it look so, so good. And then after I had her, my skin just took like, whew, I guess, hormones and everything. And just like the delivery process, I guess, took a toll. Because anytime like you have something like that and stress on your body makes your skin react. So it just didn't really get back under control for a bit. But I had the cleansing cream face wash that I already used up. And I loved, I told y'all. And then this was the Nutrient Boost Spray. It's, I don't know, you could use it as a toner. I just sprayed it on my face to kind of give it a boost. It says, Soothing Botanical Toner Calms Redness and Nourishes Dehydrated Skin. And I really liked this. And then this was the next step. It was the Support Serum. 
anti-redness solution, vitamin C, and natural seed oil formula. Um, I think they have like the sea buckthorn, yeah, tea tree, geranium, rosewood, ylang ylang, lavender, evening primrose, rose hip. It has a lot of stuff in it. And I liked this as well. I finished it up. And then I had gotten the moisturizer, which I think I showed last month. And I ended up, I don't think I liked that. But the face wash, the spray, and the redness, the support serum, I do love. And then I have the anti-redness mask. I don't notice a whole lot of um, stuff results from that. But I would definitely purchase it in the future. I think with my rosacea though, it's one of those like I'll use something and it will help my skin immensely and then it just kind of quits helping it and then I have to go on to find something new. But that's what's hard is to find something new that actually helps it. But I would definitely think about purchasing that in the future. If you have rosacea really bad and you've seen ZenMed, give it a try if you want to. Don't be put off by the people that were sent it. Okay. This is the R & Co Death Valley Dry Shampoo. I loved this. It smelled, I think, kind of coconutty. I may be mistaken. I think so. I really liked the smell. It didn't leave like a super white cast in my hair. It absorbed all well. I know this is a more expensive brand, but I would purchase that. I think I got that in a birch box. Okay, this I wanted to tell you all about. It's the it's one of the essential oil companies. It's the doTERRA brand of their toothpaste. It's On Guard Natural Whitening Toothpaste. Um, I use the Young Living Essential Oils, if y'all don't know. And I've actually never used their Thieves Toothpaste. And this is the doTERRA version. It's kind of like that cinnamon clove type flavor. Oh, whew, that was strong. And I really, really liked it. Um... I definitely need to go back to like my sensitive toothpaste though because I'm using just like Colgate whitening right now. And these teeth, I grind my teeth really bad. And I'm not, when I'm not using the sensitive toothpaste, those, they just like ache all the time. So, that's not really relevant to that one. I guess I'm just telling you. Okay. This, it's one of those hair dye conditioners, the fairy, I like it. Two more pocket bags. Warm vanilla sugar, just so generic. I think Bath and Body Works could do a better staple vanilla. Like, you know how they have their staple scents? That's their staple vanilla that they have. And I just think it's so, like, blah. They could really step it up. This was I Heart Cookie Dough. I love this. I wish they would have this as, like, a staple scent. In body spray and lotion loved that scent. It just smelled like cookie dough. Oh, love it. You can smell the chocolate and you smell kind of like that doughy scent. Okay. Wish cleansing oil for your face to remove your makeup. It was different. It was kind of like, like a Vaseline texture and then you would rub it together. And I'm pretty sure this is the same one. It didn't like when it would remove my eye makeup, then I would just have like it down there, which I could get like something and just wipe it off. And it came off easy, but I won't purchase the full size. But I did like it for makeup removal. Okay. This was, I think this is the only thing I threw away all month. This is the Estee Lauder Lip Conditioner. I had gotten this in like a bonus from them. It's in a lipstick tube. And I think I was watching Lisa Lisa D1. And she mentioned this as loving it. Maybe in an empties or something. So I pulled it out to try. It was terrible. Terrible, terrible. Oh, this was one more declutter. Um, MAC Wolf Pearl Glide Eyeliner. This is old too. And I used to really like this. Because to me it kind of pulled a little taupey. But it's definitely on the silver end. But now all I see is silver. And I do not like that kind of color on my eye or skin tone. To me, it just makes me look sickly. Okay. Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. I finished the whole thing. I really like it for like an acne treatment mud mask. But I think I can probably find comparable ones for a fraction of the cost. This was all the rage for a while. And it is good. 
but I just don't think the price is completely worth it. I'd even, you know, the Origins one is so much less. You can buy the small size, and it's really good. I have some of that Aztec clay, and you can mix it with apple cider vinegar. I just haven't gotten around to trying that, and I know people love that. I think I'm just going to wait till I'm done breastfeeding to try that. Okay, so if you have any acne mud mask suggestions that you think are as good as that, let me know. I still have some other stuff I can use, but when the day comes. Okay, the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. Love this stuff. It is freaking amazing. The brush is similar to the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's been a long time since I've used that, but I always loved it. And I'd be, um, so I can't tell you which one I love more, but if I had to go purchase another one today, I would purchase this one because I used it more recently and I know I love it. Okay. And then last non-candle item is another perfume by Hermes. It's the Amber Nargile, Nargile, I'm not sure. Oh, it smells, it smells like sexy apple pie. It's the amber and it's so, oh, it is so delicious. Like it smells so grown up and so like sexy, but so dessert like at the same time. I don't know if that makes any sense. I know a bunch of people on YouTube used to talk about this a lot and Marnie Miss Girl, Gold Girl still does. And I got the little, um, I guess it's like a travel set where you get like four of these. And this is the second one I've used up, I think. Maybe the third. I don't even know. I think, yeah. Okay, I got one more spritz out. I think I have one more left. The only downfall. My husband does not like how this smells on me. He thinks it smells like a grandma. I'm sorry to anybody where, being a grandma, but you know what I mean. He loves everything I wear. He constantly tells me how good I smell. He loves all my candles. He loves everything. Every time he's around me and smells me, he thinks I smell so good. I'll, he'll come home from work and I've been, I don't even feel like I probably smell good. And he compliments me on how I smell. But he thinks this stinks. And this is like my favorite scent in the world. This is what would be my signature scent if he liked it. So I'll wait till he's gone to wear it. So that's kind of sad that like your one favorite scent your husband hates. He doesn't think it stinks. He just thinks it smells like your grandma. You know what I think it is? I think it's something that my dad wears. Not that that smells max masculine, but I think there's some kind of connection there. Okay. Candles. Cinnamon Sugar Donut. This was officially my last one, but Bath & Body Works has since started bringing it out again. There for a while, they didn't have it. Or maybe I just hadn't bought it. I don't know. It smells like cinnamon sugar donuts, just like its name. It is this and Marshmallow Fireside are my favorite scents that they have. Raspberry Peach Macaroon. You can tell I'm like at the end of my candle stash. I think I have like one or two more. This they brought out a few um, springs ago and it was so good. And they haven't brought it back since. It was so sugary sweet. It was like cotton candy-ish, but fruity and a little bakery. I loved it. This I did not like. Cherry Blossom Sangria. It was a little too fruity for my taste. Maybe a hint of floral and it was so strong it borderline gave me a headache. I don't think they've had that in a while. Okay, now for some wax. Scentsy Sugar Cookie. It is one of the best scents. It smells, you know, like the creme brulee, like really, um, like the deep, more vanilla scents, if that makes sense. Not so generic, but like a little more caramelly. Eskimo Kiss. Love this. I think this might have been discontinued. It's like kind of like berries and cream and amber and bakery. It doesn't smell like just a generic fruity scent. It has like an underlying warmth and bake. It smells so good. Love it. Those are, these are hands down the best scentsy scents. Okay. And then from some, the online people, Front Porch Candle Company. I had ordered a few from them and I told y'all that I wouldn't order from them again. T. 
tea and sugar. It smelled just like Bath and Body Works London Calling. So if you like that. And then what kids love bread. So it's kind of like cotton candy, sugariness, and like a bread scent. For me, when it's at my house, it just smells kind of perfumey. Okay. Then the Sugar and Spice Gourmet Soy Candles. GourmetSoyOnline.com. This was Mac Apple Marshmallow Fireside. So it was Marshmallow Fireside and Macintosh Apple. Smelled so good. This brand, I love their um, wax smells. They smell very good. This was Sweet Corn Cake. Y'all. Do not be put off by corn making, like, don't think it's going to smell like cornbread or like a corn on the cob. Bath and Body Works has a French baguette scent. I'd had one more candle. I'm still, I'm burning it right now very frugally, if you will. If you like that scent, this is kind of similar. It smells delightful. I don't know if they have it year round because I bought it back in the fall, but it smells so good. And I think this brand, they let you um, make your own scents a lot. So, Anyways, that is all. I mean, it's a lot of stuff, but it's not as much as I usually have in two months. I think I've just kind of been sticking to like some of the same stuff or maybe using some new stuff. I don't quite know. But I had a good um, bit of makeup items and some bigger things that take a little bit longer to finish. So anyways, that is all as usual. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.